everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you guys are new here, definitely hit subscribe to stick around. Today, I wanted to bring you guys on another day in my life, but make it coastal grand. So a couple weeks ago, or I guess like a month or so ago, I had filmed a day in my life and I had done some shopping and shared a haul of some coastal grandmother finds that I had purchased from J. Crew Factory and you guys are loving it. So I thought I would continue on the coastal grand content and do a little essentials video. So I'm going to take you through a day in my life today, um, but we're going to go over some basic pieces, clothing items, outfit ideas, home decor, you name it, we'll cover it here in this video and I am so excited to bring you guys along. It is currently 20 after 1 on Saturday. It's a little bit later in the day, but I had a nice slow morning. I sat out on the deck, read my book, got some sun. I made some homemade sweet tea, which is currently brewing out on the deck. Um, I just get these black uh, tea bags. I brew them in a tea pitcher and you leave it out in the sun for about like four hours or so. And it is so, so good. My whole family loves it. So very excited to drink that later. Then I just showered and got myself ready and I head out to Target because we have a couple of things to get today. It's honestly pretty hot today, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up lasting in this top, but there is a breeze, so it might be okay. But now I'm gonna head over to Target. Um, I just need a couple of really random things, but I figured while I'm there, I can show you guys some of the Coastal Grandmother home decor finds um, and just some little other things that I see along the way. <music> Honestly, so much cute stuff in here. I'm in the bathroom section right now. I just found all these really cute like rattan wicker pieces, so definitely check out Target. I am back from Target. That was honestly one of the most efficient Target trips I've had in a very long time but I have all my stuff in my bag. I only got like three things, so it was really nothing crazy. And New Jersey got rid of plastic bags, so that's why my purse is also doubling as my shopping bag. But I just got some more makeup sponges and some more toothpaste since I was running low. And then I also just picked up a new hand soap for our bathroom. I'm gonna go run this stuff inside. I hope you guys enjoyed that little overview of some of the home decor finds that I had come across. I'm gonna share a few other things that they didn't have in store that I wanted to share with you guys, and then we'll get into the outfits. Continuing on with the home decor essentials, I showed you guys that little wicker tray that they had in the bathroom section. I have a really similar one over here on my nightstand. It's just a smaller version of it. And I just keep some of the essentials on here, including this really cute bottle of lotion from the Magnolia section. It's just in the salt scent. It's really lightweight, smells super clean. And not only is it obviously great to have some lotion on your bedside table, but it's also really cute in this little jar. So love that. Another thing that I think is really great is anything blue and white. This ginger jar I was given for my birthday about two years ago, I think, and I believe it was from Target Online, but I think they have this one on Amazon as well. So if I find it, I will link it in the description box for you guys, but this is honestly one of my favorite decor pieces in my entire room. And the last piece of decor that I wanna share are just the frames that are right there above my bed. I just recently replaced um, the shelves that were there with those picture frames, and I. I absolutely love how they came out. I just took some pictures off of Pinterest, blew them up at Staples, and then put them in those frames. I also got those at Target, um, but I think it's a great way to just kind of pull your entire space together. And I love like the beachy kind of like driftwood look. So if you haven't noticed, there is definitely a trend when it comes to Coastal Grandmother. Um, it's very simple, very timeless. And I feel like the reason why I love this trend so much is because I relate so well to it. I feel like being born and raised and currently living near the beach and kind of having that like classic timeless preppier style while working in those like nautical effortless twists just encompasses my style and my interests so well. So it's just really fun for me. And I think honestly what I love most about it is that beyond the style and the home decor, it's really focused on a lifestyle of 
kind of slowing down, being more intentional, being present, and just enjoying the little things. And I feel like that's something that I'm really trying to incorporate into my everyday life. I cannot believe Monday is already August. Like, I feel like this summer didn't even happen because everything has just been going at 100 miles an hour. So it's a great time to kind of slow things down and just enjoy the small things. And that's exactly what the Coastal Grandmother aesthetic genre whatever you want to call it is all about so with that being said let's get into some of the outfits starting out with what i'm wearing today this is a classic look for me in the summer i feel like a lightweight button down and just some flowy shorts is a great way to look casual be comfortable but also look put together and then you can dress it up with some dainty jewelry however you'd like and then i showed you guys before i had on that like patterned tote bag just to add a little something and then just some white jack rogers so you could also like untuck one of these sides and kind of give it more of like a trendier twist if you do the little half tuck which i do sometimes but this is definitely a classic coastal grand look by no means do you have to have these exact pieces that i'm about to share with you but i just wanted to kind of show you guys some other outfit options and some of the pieces that i have collected um, that kind of give you that coastal grandmother look so anything linen is going to be your best friend. I feel like linen is the perfect material for the summer. It's very lightweight, it is very comfortable, and you don't have to worry about being in like restrictive material when it's super hot outside. You can just be nice, flowy, breezy, and comfy while still looking super cute. So the first linen piece that I have is this top from Target, and it's this really cute like square neck um, cream and tan stripe. It's very flowy, very relaxed, and I think this works great um, with like a pair of white pants or even a pair of blue jeans you could wear this with, and I feel like it would be really, really cute. And this button down, this one is just chambray, and then I also have this linen one, which is from J. Crew Factory that I shared in that other haul a little while back. This could work as a beach cover-up. You could style it for every day. You know anything really like neutral blue and white pastel colors that's typically what i think of when i think of coastal grandmother linen shorts and pants are also a really great option this is a really cute pair that i've been wearing a lot this summer i also have these like sage green wide leg linen pants these are very beachy very effortless in terms of shoes and accessories when i think of coastal grandmother i immediately think straw I love this clutch. I don't know where it's from because it was a gift, but I take this everywhere with me in the summer. It's great for going out. If you have an event to go to and you don't want to bring a huge bag, something like this is great. It is very well loved. It is missing quite a few pom-poms, but it honestly holds so many things. I've loaned this to friends before. It's such a great option. So something like this or even a crossbody or a tote bag, you can use it as a beach bag, an everyday summer purse. It's literally so versatile. These slides from Target are some of my favorites for summer. I love this little woven pattern on the top and they have a little bit of a cushion to the sole so they are super comfortable. I've worn these for hours on end. I haven't had any issues with blisters or anything and they are very, very comfortable. Another good option that I'm sure comes as no surprise because they are so classic and timeless, I will probably honestly wear these forever as my like main summer shoe and it is Jack Rogers. I find myself reaching for the white ones most often during the summer months. So like I mentioned earlier, it is almost August and I know a lot of stores have been putting out some of their fall clothes. As much as I love fall, it's my absolute favorite season. This year, I'm really not ready for summer to be over yet so I also wanted to throw in a little segment of this video where I can show you how to kind of extend your coastal grandmother summer and bring some of these pieces into early fall so one way that you can do this is by swapping out your linen pants for just a pair of white pants or white jeans I wear white jeans all throughout the summer as well if you're going out to dinner or you just want to be a little bit dressier instead of wearing shorts but honestly white jeans you can wear probably into mid-september I'd say I mean, some people wear them even longer than that. I don't really think there's a rule applying to white pants anymore, but I think these are a great option to reach for when you're kind of transitioning your wardrobe to early fall. Another way you can do this is by swapping out your linen button downs for just a plain white blouse. At some point, it's probably gonna get a little bit chilly for those linen tops, so having something like this that you can layer or throw on with a pair of jeans is a great option to have. Another great piece is this quarter zip from J. Crew Factory. It has that perfect nautical navy and white stripe but it's really lightweight and it has like a thin fleece lining on the inside so definitely a little bit warmer you could pair it with those white jeans at the end of the summer if it's like a chilly summer night you could pair it with blue jeans nothing says coastal to me more than a pair of classic berries or loafers 
so so timeless you will have them forever they never go out of style and this can pair with pretty much any outfit when it's time to sadly put our sandals away and start wearing closed toed shoes this is a great transitional option that i always find myself reaching for i hope you guys enjoyed the little style segment of this coastal grandmother video i am now gonna go outside and get my sweet tea because it's almost four o'clock and i think it's done now i get the recipe from the reese witherspoon whiskey in a teacup book and it's one of my favorite things to make during the summertime <music> Okay, sweet tea is a 10 out of 10. I'm going to clean up my room since I just put my entire closet out on the floor. Get ready for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see some clips of my day and my coastal grandmother essentials. I hope it was helpful for you or maybe just gave you some outfit inspiration. If you create any similar looks to the ones that I shared today, definitely tag me on Instagram at the SK way. I would love to see your outfits and I've been posting videos pretty much every single Sunday. So if you haven't already, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one.